Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I don't know what this hair is doing. I have like a bunch of oils in my hair again. Just trying to do that until I wash it later today. Just made the strawberry and peach daily harvest smoothie. I've tried quite a few of their smoothies and this one is my favorite by far. I like a really fruity like fruity and creamy and I feel like strawberry and banana when strawberry and banana are the base, you can't go wrong. It's like always gonna be a good smoothie. I have a call in a few minutes, so I'm just gonna set up for that. Um, it's with a brand. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna edit, and that's what we're doing today. making a purple carrot for lunch. I normally don't do this, but I don't know how we didn't go through them this week. And we have all three of them. They're about to go bad. So I need to cook one for lunch. Okay, I'm gonna do these tofu bowls. Put on my Audible book and feel like I'm getting something done while I'm cooking. of a boring day I've just been at my computer pretty much all day but um, I am going to try to gather some stuff to give away so I have a bunch of beauty products um, sometimes I get sent beauty products that aren't cruelty free or vegan and then I can't talk about them I have no idea how I get on these PR lists or how to get off I don't have an email contact for these companies and they send me these products so I do want to give back to people who might really need them and really enjoy using them. So I'm gonna be meeting up with somebody tomorrow who is a social worker and um, helps out with one of the schools in South LA. And she says that she has a lot of families that would really, really love and need some beauty products. So I'm going to drop them off at her place tomorrow. So I wanted to get together as much as possible. I'm really in this like, <laughs> phase of my life where I think just because I'm home and I'm surrounded by all my stuff I I just really want to simplify my life and I think a lot of that will be helped by simplifying the amount of stuff I have I'm gonna get all that stuff together and I'm um, probably gonna take this time just to like get together other things that I don't need I moved my office TV in here so I could watch The Bachelor because it won't play on our bedroom TV. And I'm going to go through all of my makeup drawers and get rid of any old makeup or stuff that I can give away. busy morning. I've been <laughs> driving around all morning. I had a doctor's appointment and then I went to go drop off um, makeup to donate and then I had to stop. I was over by Kava which is our favorite like it's basically like Chipotle but Mediterranean style food and there's not one near us so I had to go pick some up obviously and show you guys what it is. I'm not sure if this is just a California chain. They have 
limited locations. So I basically got rice, lentils, hummus, roasted veggies, and then they have all these different toppings like shredded cabbage, pickled onions, tomatoes and onions, cucumbers, pita chips, and then there's a lemon tahini and I forget what the green sauce is, but it's like a cilantro, like a spicy cilantro sauce. Yay! Okay, I changed for an Instagram photo. Um, but I had to run to the drugstore to get paper towels and toilet paper because we were out. And look what I found. Might not be that exciting to you, but it's exciting to me. <laughs> Bleach. At the beginning of quarantine, I bought Jesse and I like these black classic like Hanes sweatsuits and I was going to bleach them because that was like all the rage at the beginning of quarantine. I'm sure you guys remember seeing all the like TikToks and things of people bleaching black sweatsuits and I think it was like Urban Outfitters was selling one for like a million dollars and I wanted to DIY it. The sweatsuits came and then I went to the drugstore to go get bleach. All the drugstores were sold out of bleach everywhere. So I have not been able to find bleach since then. I kind of gave up and stopped looking to be honest, but I saw all the bleach. I uh, should be editing a video right now, but I really want to do this before it gets too dark. So I think I might try to work on this project. And then I also saw that CoverGirl came out with a new mascara and it's vegan. It's a clean lash blush volume mascara. Okay, I love the mascaras that have this little wand right here. The plasticky bristles. It's a vegan drugstore mascara. I'm really excited because all of their other mascaras, as far as I know, contain non-vegan ingredients. So I got it in pitch black. The colors were so confusing to me. They had black, very black, pitch black, just like all different. <laughs> I'm like, which one is the most black? I don't, I don't know. So I got pitch black because I'm like, Maybe that's the most black. I don't know. I just want them to look like falsies. So we'll see. first and then those so it's working we just washed them now i'm gonna throw them in the dryer they got like really bleached they're basically brown now i thought they were gonna be more like black and brown but like kind of cute kind of cute i like i actually think i like the brown better than i would like the black and brown this is jesse's sweatshirt Cute. So these are Jesse's pants. Freaking cute. And then the part <laughs> that got messed up, but like honestly, kind of cool with it. These, like, I think because they're a different brand, they're made with a different material, so the bleach just took to it differently. So they're like straight up orange but like kind of cute still but i just won't have a matching set but i don't hate it i'm actually like kind of kind of excited about it okay today is just trying out tiktok trends day um because we are gonna make 
the viral feta pasta vegan of course and it's so funny how like this went so viral because I originally saw like one of the original TikToks where it wasn't vegan and I was like, oh my God, that looks so good. And I've been, I've had this block of Violife Feta just sitting in my fridge, not knowing what to do with it. And then I saw that and I was like, I have to try it. And then like all my favorite vegan food bloggers, like um, Alexa Field Naturally and Veggiekins came out with the same exact recipe with the Violife block. So I thought it was so funny. because I was like, wow, I thought it was just so original with that idea, but Nope. So we're gonna make that. I might try to film it, even though everyone's already done it. Uh, but it's so dark, like the lighting is just such crap that I don't know if it's worth it. You guys, what I'm looking at, it's not that bad. I actually expected it to look a little more yellow and I think I can color correct it. So I think I might try to do the, the little reel. Why not? I forgot to film, <laughs> I was filming my phone, forgot to film my camera, but this is so good. I tried some of it um, before I put it in the pan because I wanted to know what it tasted like on its own. So good. You can kind of taste the coconut oil a little bit, like it has a little bit of that coconut oil aftertaste, but it's like really good. It tastes a lot like feta. Oh my God, I thought I was recording that whole time that I was try trying this. I think that it is really good. I do think it's slightly overhyped. I think anything would be when <laughs> you see it that many times, but it's definitely good. It's like cheesy pasta. I definitely think Alexa's method of doing the cheese in the last 13 minutes is best. If you're looking to follow a recipe, I think that was a win because I can see how if you were to bake the cheese the whole time, it would just get watery. I think that it would be interesting to try other cheeses to see if they held up as well. We did it. We did two TikTok trends in like a few hours. Go us. It's really good. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. You haven't seen the viral TikToks, have you? I give it a nine. Okay, so. That's an unbiased review right there. I feel like I've seen it too much. I feel like it's when somebody like when somebody recommends a show to you and then another person recommends a show to you and then another person recommends a show to you and then you're finally just like, I don't even want to watch the show because too many people have recommended it. I feel like that's kind of how this pasta is. Good morning. I have an audition, um, a very quick one. No speaking lines because um, it's for a commercial. So I'm gonna film that really quick and submit it and then I'm heading off to work. So I won't really be seeing much of you today. I think I'm going to wear my hair up for this audition. It's commercial and I feel like they usually like to see your face. Hire me. Okay, so now I need to upload this. I just edited it into a shorter file and now I'm uploading it. Good morning, happy Saturday. We are just hanging out on the couch. Um, we've been watching this documentary on Netflix about the Cecil Hotel and Elisa Lamb's disappearance. Um, it's very, very good, highly recommend it. We have like one more episode left, I think, and we ordered food. But we got Taco Vega, it's this new vegan Mexican food spot that we're obsessed with. We've eaten at it so much. Um, it is freaking delicious. So I got three tacos. I got the Baja, which is like their version of a fish taco. It's with fried cauliflower. 
the asada, which is with mushroom. And then this one, I didn't, I haven't tried this one yet. This is the poblano. These are the chips. The salsa is so good. We could literally drink it. California burrito. This is the like fish taco. And this is the asada. Cheesy. We've done nothing today. We've literally done nothing. Um, but it's Saturday, so isn't that what Saturdays are for? And I wasn't lying in the last vlog when I said every vlog would have pizza. We were just talking about what to do for dinner. We have a bunch of leftover mozzarella cheese, so we were like, we should make a pizza. So we're gonna go get the crust and sauce and all that stuff from Trader Joe's and we'll be back. Okay, I had to open these <laughs> on the way home because they're so good, I love them. The sour Scandinavian swimmers. I'll show you guys what else we got. We got so many chips because Jesse came with me this time. I don't know about you guys, but your uh, grocery trips look a little different when you shop with your significant others. Okay, we got, we got pretzel slims to eat with this. Buffalo style hummus, I haven't tried it yet. I'm very excited. Tortilla chips, just because. And then we got these rolled tortilla chips. We're actually addicted to these, so it was my idea to get two bags of these. Some avocado, everything bagels, two vegan wines. This one is my favorite, the Spiral Cabernet. Gestos, Malbec and Malbec. I don't know, it said it was vegan, so I thought we'd give it a shot. Then we got pizza dough and pizza sauce, obviously, for the pizza that is about to happen. Oh, I could have made this brighter the whole time. Wow. Some vegan cream cheese for the bagel. Some pineapple for the pizza. Olives for the pizza. And artichoke card. Hello. What? Can I help you? God bless. <laughs> she wants something from you. Pizza, dude. <laughs> How many things she wants? Yeah, I thought she wanted to have a conversation with you or something. Oh. My bleach sweatpants. Good morning, it's Valentine's Day. So we're just hanging out, watching TV, doing laundry, and we ordered something really yummy for dinner. So I'm not really gonna vlog today because we're not doing much, but I am gonna show you dinner when it gets here because it is going to be so delicious. That's our treat to ourselves on Valentine's Day. We'll see you later. All right, so we got Pura Vida. They were doing a Five course meal, I think. Okay, so for appetizers, we got this pistachio cranberry cheese ball. These are scallops. We got a salad, lentil soup. This is a truffle pasta, like a pink truffle pasta. This is a black risotto and raspberry cake and a salted caramel tart. Say that three times fast. Looks so good. 